11.58. That's right. We said 12 o'clock we're going to bring on superstar singer Penny Einhorn from Eretz Yisrael. But guess what? He's not in Eretz Yisrael. He's in France. Penny, you there? Yeah. What's up, Yossi? Wow, I'm excited. What's going on? Die kennst du in der Sprache? You can read Yiddish, English, Hebrew, Francois. No, 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 you're in France. Bonjour, comment ça va? Comment ça va? Hey, merci beaucoup. So you know how to say how you're doing and, and, and thank you. So at least we're getting somewhere. So Penny Einhorn, yeah. who, who I've been, you know, watching clo- closely because, you know, I get the PR from Eretz Yisrael. I'm trying, well, I don't even remember who handles your PR. Was it? Yachatz, how do you say Yachatz? Management here in Israel, oh, uh, marketing is Bechazit. Bechazit, right. So I've been getting marketing stuff. Marketing is Bechazit. I've been getting stuff from you. I got the song Lo, Lo, Lo Rav La Lechem. And uh, we got a single also, Mishananim, that came out a little while ago. So we've been following your career. And then all of a sudden, these um, these graphics, these amazing, colorful black and red graphics came out about some new album called Penny. Never heard of this guy. So Mishananim, you released uh, last year in 2018. And um, and you're here. Debut album. So talk to us, Penny. I was shocked, by the way, that you speak English. I, I could not get over that fact. I, You know, you look Hasidish. You're an Israeli guy. Clearly, you speak good Hebrew. I mean, where does the American, where does the, the, the English come in from, Penny? I was grown up born in Chicago. I'm a Chicago boy. And uh, yeah, that's 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 why my English is quite good. I mean, it's not a hundred percent because I got all mixed up with my Hebrew in Israel because I we made Aliyah when I was thirteen years old. But I got my mama in English, I got my papa in Yiddish, I got my uh, my, my you know um, country uh, language is Hebrew. But we got you know in our house we speak Hebrew, English, Yiddish, Aleph, Zayin, it's a really ridiculous. I love it. It's like a Yiddish a Yiddish sprach, you know, Hebrew, English, Yiddish together, everything. Really, and that's why when I perform, mm-hmm. when I perform in front of people, it's very, it's very funny. But you know, when I speak in front of people, you know, Americans, like this guy is not speaking correct English. You know, these older people, are like, oh my god, guys, come on! I'm not going to teach you Hebrew. Do not teach me English, also. So we got a whole mix here. <laughs> it's gishmak. It's mighty. I hear it. So, Penny, if you're from Chicago, do you rate like regular pizza, or does it have to be deep dish pizza? And um, you're talking about the pizza now from Chicago? That's what you say? Yeah, because. Chicago is known for its deep dish pizza, so I'm wondering which way does it go for you. I don't think the the, the Yiddish Chevelle gear didn't make the best pizza, you know, because you're kosher, you're paying for the hexa. But you know, I think I think I think what I remember more from Chicago mm-hmm. is the freezing cold weather. <laughs> it was in the shiggy give off and then it was so cold. I'm telling you, it was like that's what I remember: freezing, freezing, freezing. By the way, L'chaim. L'chaim. Yeah. what's what's the weather over there in in, in France right now? It's like around, uh, you know, three degrees, 40. Oh, that, and how much is it by you? Um, mm, I think it's 30, like 30. Like, oh, so it's that's pretty, how they say pretty it. pretty cold, though, I'm saying. It's a good, good, good reflection. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. It's cold. Okay, so you, right. your debut album, I see here you worked with uh, Yitzhi Berry and Ellie Klein with, uh, with the arrangements a lot. I, I think, did they arrange the whole album or not? They arranged the whole album. I, I'll be honest with you, when I walked into that, um, it was two years ago when I started this album already yeah. and I really wanted to I really want you know I got ADHD got the whole thing out there but you know I said you know I want every song to be spread out into a different uh, um, producer you know and and slowly I was working with them another month another month an- another song uh, you know and you know I really got to know these guys and I loved the way how they work with me and I just said you know what if I love them, why should I go look for other producers? I mean, there's so much talented people out there. But if it's working good, if they're in my mind, I was involved in every song here, in every musical instrument, and, you know, they really understood me, what I wanted, and why should I go now and throw myself into 20 people? If they're good, let's do the whole CD with them. And I'm telling you, every song there, if you would not know who's producing the songs, you would be, you'd probably be sure that every song has a different musical producer. And I'm not joking with you. No, it's true. It's definitely true. Penny Einhorn with us via telephone talking about the release of his debut album, Penny, in stores now, available through Niggin Music. And Penny said it's available everywhere online. You have no excuse not to check out this album. Penny, so how long was the actual time in creating the album? Was it a year or more than that? Two years. Two years. Two whole years. And it was a lot because... Um, a lot of changes in the music, and I wanted this kind of music and that kind of music, and I'm, I'm very professional in, in, in music, specifically in music, but in other things also. But So that's why I did not want this thing to come out before I am, I am 100% happy with it. 
and, and, and just know before I gave out this CD, it took me like two months, I put the CD on the side and did not listen to the music, the halal, for like two months. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then bring it up again and said, now let's listen to it again. And I listened to it again and we changed again things. And I'm telling you, it took a long time, but I promise you, this is something special to my heart. I put my whole personality into that CD. My whole neshama is inside there. Everything. You got every penny inside, all my sides. Interesting, because you know a lot of engineers will do that when they're mixing and mastering an album. They'll say, "Okay, I need like a few days not to listen to it to clear my ears out because I've been listening to it for a week straight, and I want to see after a week, you know, if I can hear what I still have to tweak." So it's very interesting. I see on the graphics over here on the cover and throughout the booklet a, a guitar. So does this mean you play guitar, or this was ju just for photographs? <laughs> I'm telling you, the graphics around this CD took also a very long amount of time because I was looking for something very, very creative. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what was in my, my mind was I wanted something, graph, a graphic that is going to bring all my sides, just like the music in the CD is going to bring all my sides and sadness, happiness, craziness, everything is in there. I, I was shaking down some, the whole thing is inside there. So I wanted also the graphics, but I wanted it to be a nice tom. I didn't want it to be like, like the kitschy, like, you know, babyish, this kind of stuff. So it took a very long time and until we got to this, this, this thing that to bring in, in the smiling face, the, 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 the reggae part, and you see in all the pictures on the graphic that it's like a lot of parts of my personality. And it's another thing is that I play guitar for 10 years and professionally uh, learned it for two, three years. And that's part of my comedy. So I do comedy now. I play with my guitar and my band in back of me and, and you know, giving me the, the whole push. And yeah, that's my, that's, that's my, that's how I perform with the guitar. I mean, this is awesome that I go out with choirs. I can't go with the guitar and I'm about to feel it and, uh, you know, for Shabbos. But besides that, all my performings are with guitar. Yes. Right. No. So that's, that's interesting. I didn't know you're known as a Kumsitz guy. Cause you know, you see the pictures on this graphic on, on the booklet over here and then you listen to the music. It's pretty far from Kumsitz. Don't get me right. Right. Lay Rav La Lechem is the first song on my CD. And it's, it, it, that's, the, you know, it's very interesting because this CD, I'm, I'm, I'm in Israel, very Bar Hashem. They call me the king of Kumsitz. I don't like that name. It's very like, oh, I'm talking about myself. But that's what they call me here in Israel. You could, whenever, whenever it's like I'm performing, so they write that. Right. And in this CD, I wanted to pull it to some other place. I wanted like, I am, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have a, a kishan to connect to people and to make, and, you know, to bring the whole vibe together. That's a present that I got besides music. Right. But I have another present. Hashem gave me also a present that I know how to sing. And the CD tried, I tried to pull it a little bit, you know, to a different area and like more perceived of that I'm a singer and that I play music and that, and, and, and. So I try, just like I said, I try to bring everything into the CD, but the CD starts with a Kumsit song because that's what, that's what people know me from. It's Lay Rav La Lechem, and, 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 and I think that's one of the most favorite songs for me on the CD, Lay Rav La Lechem, like some of them are. I love the song. That's, that's, that's a song basically that pushed me to, to go get out a CD. That's the first song from that, I, that I got on the CD, so... It's a very, yeah, it's no, a I, very, uh, I agree it, with, it, I agree with you. And this was the first single you released off the album right before Yom Nairam. You know, it was a very good time to right. remember Leila Rav Alechem, Leit Samal Amayim. Ki Yemeshmaya Az Divrei Hashem. You know, you just have to listen. It was composed by Ruvain Horowitz and Penny. Penny, who is Ruvain Horowitz? Oh, um, so it's, it's also a long story. We'll make it short, but I know this family very much. And Ruvain Horowitz, it's the Horowitz, uh, the brothers Horowitz, they're all Chazanim in Eretz Yisrael and very, very talented musical people. Mm -hmm. I met this Ruven um, two years ago in our Sheva book, so he walked out and took my guitar, and he tells me, you know, can you have a song? I want to give it to this and this singer, like a big singer. I told him, you know, let me hear the song. I want to tell And we started singing it. I told him, you know, you want to let me take this song? I'm going to just, you know, change the other side of the song. Because the other half of the song was a little bit not, and professional was like going, it was like breaking down. It was like losing the energy. So I changed the half of the song to, to a different, to, it picks up, 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 up. It's like a plane that's picking up. And, and I said, you know, let me go into the studio. I'm going to sing it. And you let me know if you want to give me this song because I, I'm going to compose the other half and you compose the first. And after I sang in the studio, it's only 20 years, four years. So <laughs> that's, that's my first song. And that's, that's, that's the relationship with 
with and Harvey, it's a very, very talented musical person. So tell me, because of the Kumsis thing in the guitar, I mean, do you have like a bunch of songs that you composed? Because I still see there's one other song, track nine, Gula Soylem, you also composed, but that you composed alone on this album. So is composing, right. is composing that, a Zach for you? Do you have like a, a box of songs and that we might see in the near future? Yeah. I'll tell you something. First of all, it's, very, um, it's the first time I'm going to say this, and your radio is going to hear this definitely the first time. It's very hard for me to compose songs, and um, I, I, it's very extremely hard for me, and not because um, I just don't get the music or this or the. It's just my ADHD. It just I start the song and I lose it, and and, and I just you know I just stop, and I, it's very very complicated for me to sit down and try to compose. But when I compose, and this is very interesting, when I do sit down to compose, it's a lot of times when I drive to the Hawk Yam and to the to the to the beach, sit down on the water by night with the guitar. No one's around me. No one sees me, and I compose songs in in English words. I talk and I. And all my songs that I composed until today were words in English with melodies, or major melodies. I don't know, like nine, 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 like a major song. Right. These kind of like it. Yeah, and this is the kind that I have loads of these songs. It's just the reason why I didn't give out these songs is because I, I felt that it's wrong for me to, to hit. You know, this is not so much the people that call me to events today. So I'm going to give out an English CD with English words. And this kind of music, it's just not going to work. So I said, you know, Penny, let's put that on the side. Let's, you know, break through what you like and what you do the best. And one day, you know, it's going to come, you know, one CD, two CD, three CD, you can get out the music that you like. You know what I mean? It's, 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 a very, it's a break. People think musicians, very hard for us, but to come and give what you want and what other people want. It's, it's, it's very hard to, you know, to, to come and find something that I like and they like too. That's, that's, that's the Zach, but... One day I'm going to give out these songs. That's mostly what I compose in English, yeah, because that's what I was born with. That's like that's that's really you know what I was when I was a kid. You know, in English and English words. That's what I. But yeah, I was like, I just. I find that very interesting that you compose in English. I mean, I know it's your first language, but still, you know, you figure you take words from Tfila or from Chumash or from Tehillim or from Novi or something, you know. Penny Einhorn with us via telephone, uh, calling all the way from Paris, France, talking to us about the release of his debut album, Penny, in stores now. Uh, by the way, how long did you have to think about that, naming the album Penny? Oh, that's another story. Oh, my God. It was all over the radio. It was all over the radio here in Israel. It was like all our WhatsApps and groups. And, you know, I sent out a message two months ago, uh-huh. or three months ago, even before August, and I said, whoever's going to give me a, a name for my CD and is going to get a free uh, performance. So it's Hassan or something, you know, the whole band. Mm-hmm. And no one got me a name. Everyone gave me names from the CD, like Rav Lalech and you know. And and one day I just woke up in the morning and I said, no way, this is the name, Penny. And why did I say Penny? And this is the sound going back to all what we talked about in the beginning, Yossi, and that's the, that's the whole vibe from this CD. Yeah. I wanted something that brings the whole CD together. If I'm going to give Leira of Lalechem a name to the CD, or Mishtoike, people are going to think that it's a Kumzit CD, and it's not. It's Penny, I know, and it's my whole personality. My guns are kishkis. So that's that's why I call it Penny. It brings all the songs together. That's it. Interesting. So 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 you named the album you because the album encompasses you. It's all sides, all the facets of you, all the styles. And I guess you're right. You know, if you call Loyal Rav Alechem and you're known as the Kumsitz King, everyone's going to assume it's a Kumsitz album. So I think it was a very smart idea. Right. Um, you mean I? It says composed by Lipa Schmelzer. Now, you've been singing for what? Yeah. Uh, eight or nine years already? I'm singing, it's a little bit complicated. I was singing for five years alone, four years maybe, but before that I sang on choirs. And I sang in Yedidim Choir, uh, in Dudi Kalish's Choir, and then Yedidim Choir. Mm-hmm. And when I was in, in Yedidim Choir, Lipa Schmelzer called us for an event that he made in Broadway that was eight or eight years ago, nine years ago, I don't remember. Uh, I remember that, and, yeah, wow, it was a long time ago. Yeah, that was a crazy event. And what, what happened to me when I met the first time Lipa Schmelzer on that Shabbos, we had a Shabbos together, something clicked with me with him. <laughs> it was just unbelievable. From then, we mamas was like, the Chita Meshish, but I don't know, looked at me, became mamas good friends, and I love this guy. And we went a long journey together, and we, you know, we helped ourselves together. And this guy is really a part of my, part of my, part of my musical career. 
And this is a time to say, thank you, I really appreciate that you did. He does not give the people songs. People call him for songs, and he does not, uh, he, all his songs, he sings them alone. And this, he changed a little bit his mimic, and he, and he gave me a song, special song, that this song is, they're singing you probably already in every house in the hall that there is in, in outside, of, in, in, in America and Israel. You mean a smooth. So it's like, it, it's, it's a hit. It's Mama Shahid. That, that's like the first song in the seat, but the second, I don't remember. It's the first song. It's just funny. It's the first song. It's the first song, right. Because now Lipa has a Mizrach Marev and Yemin is small. So, <laughs> think about it. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Mizrach Marev and Yemin is small. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, Penny, so, so, yeah. Okay, so between me and you, you know, nobody else is listening. Let's pretend. Who has the yeah. better songs? Is it Yitzi Berry or is it Ellie Klein? Oh, you're trying to bring some Kotarot. How do you say Kotarot in English? Uh, you're trying to bring a Kotarot to this. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm curious. I'm telling you something. You work with both of them, and we see songs from both of them, but their styles are different, though. Yeah. Um, I'm going to answer you a very political answer, so get ready, okay? okay? They both have two different styles, and there's a lot of people that like his. There's a lot of people that like his Ellie's, a lot of people that like Itzy's. And and it's just like it's just like you know there's people that like steak medium and people that like well done or not well done I don't think there's people that like but you know medium or rear right. and that's 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 what I think about their two songs and I specifically like a steak that's medium and also that's rear sometimes if it's a good one so I like his and his also and 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 not all their songs are not I from hundreds of songs that I heard from them and from other people there's like four songs in my CD two from Illy and two from Itzy and and I'm. It's just, I'm telling you, this is hundreds of, so one of the songs that I took was by a very big singer, I cannot say his name now, and that singer gave up on the song for me, and I really wanted to say thank you for him now. I cannot say his name, but yes, he gave me the song, and, uh, Ban Chilaini. Ban Chilaini, Hashem Elikaini, Be'havu'i Vedu Tzeshabes. I think that's the fourth or the third song, I don't remember. So that's, that's one of the songs. That's a song from Ellie Klein, but you know how many songs I had to hear from him to get that song? It's, it's doesn't it, you know, people think, wow, he has over no, he has hundreds of songs, and from what from what say hundred songs, one is a hit. You know what I mean? And that's why it took me so long to find the song that this is me. I want this. This is what I want. I think a lot of guys, uh, and, and I don't know how you say that, um, guys on songs. That's what you say. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of them just went to the garbage, you know, it's just, it's, it's, after I heard it in my car, and I said, no, I don't want this, it's not me. Boom. Again, and again, and again, that's what took so long, and and I think whoever wants to go to them, I think a, a singer, he has to understand what is, he has to learn what his style is, and then start looking for songs. He cannot just come and just, oh, let me take this song. But you can't sing this, after that, you can't sing it by your event, it doesn't make any sense, you know what I mean? You have to... To build a concept that's going to work for you, and, and that's what I think is a very important thing for singers and musicians out there. So I'm just, you know, getting my your two cents. <laughs> I I agree with yeah. you. I agree with you very much. It's just funny you're saying that because track three, Aheim. I mean, you know, for those that don't know, Yitzi Berry is Suki Berry's son. Yitzi's more of a, a yeshivish background, and over here is composing Hasidish and Neginim. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, Itzy, 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 I love, Itzy is, is my man. I'm t- I love this guy. This guy's a freaking musical musician. It's crazy. He took his father, like, boom, like, all the way up. And it's unbelievable. He has so many styles. You could see, he gave out a song. And then he gives a song, like, it's like, boom, it's like, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah. That's that's the fact, yeah. But it's funny, you no? Know, because yeah. you can see the Hasidic Shem is not dart. Uh, whose idea was it to bring on Yiddish Nachas? Was that Yitzi or you? Um, it was my idea to bring Yiddish Nachas. It was his idea to bring kids. Interesting. He wanted to bring a different group of kids, but I said I want Yiddish Nachas. No, I think Moshi <laughs> does an amazing job, and Moshi's kids are truly amazing, and they they definitely added some depth to the song. It's funny because you know this song will get to see more of a serious side of you. Um, Penny Einhorn right. is via telephone all the way from Paris talking about the release of his latest album, his debut album, Penny. So tell me, Penny, you know, we, we know you're from Israel, you're originally from Chicago. I mean, in the last five years, tell me about some of the places you've traveled to and some of the gigs you've done. <laughs> 
So, uh, first of all, yes, I got to you, you are really good. I love this, enjoying this. This is like a lot of fun. We could go on for like an hour, no? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, so what I want to say is, I just came back now from Canada, and that was two days ago. I, I performed with Pompadisa in Toronto. Nice. And we had a bar mitzvah. Yeah, it was Gish. Oh, my, I love these guys. I'm, oh, I, I, love, I love this Did Pompadisa. Did you enjoy the snow? No, we didn't get the snow yet. We were like, after we left, started the snow. I was oh. so disappointed. Like, <laughs> I was so disappointed. Uh, it was freezing. It was freezing. It was like minus two. Uh, I don't know how you say that in there. Like 15, 20 degrees. I was freezing. And and it was it was, a, it was a lot of fun. We had a bar mitzvah. We put the music together with Shabbos. The whole team. I just came back. And two days after that, back in France. Coming back to Israel. And uh, it's tomorrow. And yes, we're leaving Sunday. to one other. I'm... Uh, Hashem, I, I love this. I love you'll see what I'm doing. I love to make people happy, and it's, it doesn't matter how they look. You know, Spanish, Hasidish, Litvish, American, Israeli. And you know, it's a lot, it's, it's it's just I love it. I mamish love it. So tell me, Pim, I love what I'm doing. Yes. Have you been to America? I mean, th- that I haven't heard about it. Was it like a, a down low, or you just haven't made it here yet? Um, I perform a lot in America. I'll be honest with you, I did not break through to you yet. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I do perform there quite a, quite a few times a year. And mm-hmm. I again, I, um, a month ago, I had a Shabbos in Manhattan. And um, three, four months ago, I had a bar mitzvah at a house in New Jersey. You know, it's 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 it's. I was supposed to be there more, but yes, but that's what it is today. Yes, I do perform in America, but I think it's going to be a, probably the CD is going to give a lot of more. A taste uh, to American. Uh, w- w- what happens is that people, Americans, come to Israel. They make bar mitzvahs. They make shabbat brachas. They make chasimahs. When Americans come to the they take they they take me. Also because I'm an American. Also because I connect to the to the kind of the personality. And and yeah, things take time. You know, you'll see. I'm not I'm not so so much time out there. You know, I'm like five years on the market. And oh, I understand. Things take time. But now, but now that we know each other, I hope you're not going to come to town and not let me know. I don't want to hear about it afterwards. You know. Nah, no. Nah, next time, I, the truth is, I don't want to say it's okay. We're on radio, but yeah, I'm probably going to be there another two weeks for an event for a dinner. But if I'm going to be, I'm probably going to send you a WhatsApp. Or wow, we're going to. Uh, I'm going to come over yeah, to your office. Yeah. We're going to make. We're going to drink coffee together. There you go. But we're not going to kumzitz because you know you're not a kumzitz guy. You're you're, you're just a, a singer. No, no, no. We're going to start with kumzitz <laughs> and we're going to start with kumzitz and then go into some blues, reggae. You know. You so, so, Penny, tell me, are we going to see some music videos from these songs so we can we can get you a little further and let more people know about you? Yeah, every month in Mitzvah Shem from now, let's say we're talking about January and February, March. Every month, for three or four months from now, is going to come out on every song a different clip. Oh wow! That's every cool. song from the CD is going to come out a clip, and I produced my CD in a big uh, performing in Bnei Brak, mm-hmm. and and so from that from that produce. Uh, and production is going to come out, and every a clip on every song. It's so not, yeah, I was so waiting not for necessarily, this. Necessarily, not necessarily music videos, but live performances taken from your release show. Right, right, and from other performances that I had in the last few months. Yeah. Okay. Well, Penny uh, Penny Einhorn with us via telephone, talking about the release of his debut album. As he said, available iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, Spotify, in stores now through Nigan uh, is. PR guy here and it's in uh, it's not going to be it's not on Spotify I'll see it's going to be on Mostly it's going to be on Mostly Spotify and Apple Music it's not going to be for another two months uh-huh. you're doing the shtick that everybody else is doing huh see and you say you don't perform in America I'm telling you it's a big problem you see it's a massive problem we're, we're Jewish people we don't have enough people that are going to listen to our Apple Music to make a million dollars you know uh, yeah. we have a million people listening to Apple Music it's obviously does not make any sense you know it doesn't make sense the question sense. is though is hundreds of thousands of dollars enough or does it have to be millions of dollars let me make $50,000 on Apple Music and must be a promise you I wouldn't sell my CD <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Penny. So before you, before we let you go, I want I want to play this song, the last song on the album. Uh, last song on the album is titled "Gura Sasus." There's a beautiful picture of you smiling with a guitar, sitting on top of a horse. People are comparing this to uh, Baruch Sholem's song, the style. Um, you know what song I'm talking about, right? I don't really know which one are you talking about. Uh, Baruch Sholem Blasovsky had a song, um, "Lo Yemale." Oh, um, people, you know, because there was like the same words. No, no, there was, there was the same, you know, funky style. You know, he also had like a, a, whole, a oh, horse going in his song. Nah. 
So what can you tell oh, about this man, song? The truth is, it's funny that you're talking. I didn't think about that. No one told me about this, what were you saying? But Barak Shalom was the only person for me to speak about with this song. Interesting. Yeah, me and Barak Shalom are very good friends. We performed last uh, August. Um, August it was? Yeah, last August we performed in Atanya and, and together. We had we sang at the song, I love this guy. Yeah, I just played it today well, because can... it was from last week's part show. I talk of this. I love this song. It's one of my favorites. I'm, I don't like other people's songs. Normally, you have the ones that come out today. I like the old-fashioned ones. Not that I'm not, I don't have anything against anyone. Just say, I like Ego Saleh, Slamit like Kalabach, uh, you know, old you stuff, old you stuff. Like the old-fashioned ones, like Abba, 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 Shem. <laughs> uh, um, that's a nice song, yeah. I um, Again, it's a nice song. It's a song. It's a hit. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's hits and the songs that I connect. But but yeah, Hatzvah is one of the songs that I say, "Wow, I like this song. I like this song." So we performed on this song. We sang this, and we sang another song. I don't remember. But on the way to the to the event, we sat in the car. It was me, Bar Shalom, and Lita Schmelzer, and we were talking about this uh, song. And I tell you, I put on the song, and I said, "You know, guys, I want to hear." Um, I want to hear what you have to say. It's unbelievable. Shalom flew like, wow, I love this. I love this. You're going for it. And I'm like, you sure I should take this song? I'm not sure, you know, it's this. Now, Shalom said this. Lupa told me, oh, this is going to be unbelievable. Lupa told me, you're not giving out this song. I said, why? He said, because you're starting the, with a song that goes, everyone in America is going to say, I'm not singing that song. But we're going to sing on a meeting with side parts. But we're gonna sing in a meeting with hype with hype to come with a pot. It's a good, Why should I sing the pot? It's a good hop. He's right. He has a face. He's right. But you know what? You know what? I said to myself, you know what? I like this song. I connect to the song. I don't have to listen to everyone. I heard what he has to say. I heard what he has to say. I took it into consideration, and I want to tell you something. It's really going wild here in Israel. Really? Less in America. America's going on in Nino Smolo. But you know what? It's, it's enough. It's okay that in Israel they sing Lebeg Vurat in the Mike Pot. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, 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 it's a, I like the song. And we did, and it's funny, but I'm a, I, you know, I, Learned for two years horseback riding. Really? So I was on a horse. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my talents. So, 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 so I took the they took the phone and I put the and I you know started you know banging on the horse. You know you should move his feet. And I took the vocals from the from the. I recorded on my no, phone. No, the no, the, no, the, no. You serious? I promise you, I'm not. I'm, whatever I say here, you got a microphone. What you hear on the CD is electronics on internet including with the with my phone that i recorded the feet That's i crazy. wanted the real sound from the feet you wanted the sound of the hoofs hitting the ground yeah like, <laughs> you, wanted, you wanted the name too so this isn't just a picture of you and a horse this is a picture of you on a horse that helped make the song yeah, yeah, it was. I'm telling you, it was. It was quite, quite, quite. It was a lot of stories with the horse, but it doesn't matter. The, the, the guitar fell down, and I have a very expensive guitar. And kids, were, mm. I, I don't know if it was worth it to go up on with that with the guitar. Now I'm looking back, and I'm saying, you know, I'm not sure. It was okay, a good sir, idea. If, you, if you go, Forget. if you go horseback riding, you take the, you know one of the mini guitars, the ukulele, or you don't take anything. No, nah, no, nah, you go up on a horse, you got to be ready, you got to get into it, and it's not a schmuck if you don't know if you don't know horseback riding. And you're going horseback riding. You got to know that you're going to be not able to sit on your chair for like weeks. Or, so rather don't do walk, it. You know? Yeah, or walk. Don't walk. Yeah, it's like a schmuck. So. So, this, so this song was <laughs> this song wasn't like a deep message of the song. It was it was a cool funky song, and you wanted to end with a cool funky song. Maskim. I wanted the song. I wanted to finish my CD. You know, it's very funny. A lot of people that take all the hits and they put them in the front of the CD to hold the guy to listen to my CD. Mm -hmm. I put the hits, I think I spread it out on the whole thing, that when someone starts the CD, he's going to want to listen until the end. And, and that's what I do, you know. That's, I push the words until the end. That's my crazy part, so, you know. Hi, that's my ADHD. Hey, Penny. I want to wish you at Slucher Abba. I can't wait to see you here in America. I, I, I happen to love the album. I'm telling all my listeners, go ahead and buy it if you don't already have it. Don't wait for Apple Music the two months. and Don't wait for Spotify. Go get your copy today. iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, or in-stores through Nigga Music or Mostly Music. Penny, at Slucher Abba, have, an, have a warm dick winter, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye. My pleasure.